hello you guys welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are new here today's video I wanted to do just like a little girl talk get ready with me and also kind of bring you through and talk you through some of them are my first impressions but some are my thoughts that I've been using from the Sephora sale the items that I bought so the videos I will link them up in the cards the what I bought from Sephora what was in my cart sort of videos I wanted to kind of review and tell you my thoughts on them some are my first impressions like I said and others I have complete thoughts on them and some I'm completely returning so I wanted to walk you through this little look I love how it turned out I think it's so cute so if you're curious to see what my thoughts are from the items that I purchased from that video if you watched then let's get ready together and I'll tell you my thoughts so as always all the products will be linked down below um because I don't really spend too much time talking through the details of what I'm talking about do we like my new plant behind me are we here for that I think it's so cute okay primer oh no before primer SPF do you put SPF on before primer I'm gonna put on primer first because my primer is like a filler I normally always put my sunscreen on first and then my primer but this is like illuminating I have tried this a couple times so I think I'm gonna try it over my primer we'll see because it kind of gives me the same vibe as my Charlotte Tilbury there's Winnie come on Cranks I knew it was gonna come all right so Primer is on. So, okay, the first product, actually the first <laughs> new product that I have on my lips right now is the Summer Friday Lip Balm in Vanilla. I really like this. I heard that the Naturium Lip Phyto Lip Glow was similar to this, and I disagree. I don't think it's similar at all. I think the Phyto is sticky. I still like it but it's sticky whereas this is buttery but it still does stay on my lips a decent long time so I tried this and I really like it and honestly I might want to try the like pinky kind of color because I think it would be really pretty for the spring summer but I like this the other lip balm I've been using this a ton as well this is the Ulla Hendrickson pout preserve peptide lip treatment I like this it does give like a not an orangey but like kind of a whitey sort of look to the lips it smells amazing. It smells like a cream skull I got on my nose. But I think I like the Summer Friday better. I don't know. I like both of them. This one stays a little bit longer than this one. This one's a little bit more sticky. So I don't know. Both obsessed. And then while we're on lip balms, I will show you this guy. I got the Lawless um, Forget the Filler Overnight Lip Plumping Mask. Again, I love this stuff. I got the Cherry Vanilla, and it's not super red at all. I do prefer the Sweet Dreams if you're in between, but this one is nice as well. It gives just a sheer, very, very sheer pink. Um, I can wear it during the day or at night. This is 10,000 times better than the Laneige, Laneige, whatever. Um, yeah, we'll get into the other stuff in a bit. So let's go in with my... SPF. This is the Kosas Dream Beam Comfy Smooth Sunscreen Broad Spectrum 40 SPF. Um, I have really liked this. You guys, something I noticed about this, hold on, I feel like my light, my room could be lighter. Maybe that's a little bit brighter. I don't know. Um, something I really like about this is I feel like it's almost the same effect as this guy is on my skin. So I don't have to put as much or I could probably have to even skip this. So I love this as like my base. So I decided to put it over my primer. I don't know if that matters. But... It's kind of got a peachy, it doesn't have a tint, which I normally like an SPF with a tint. Oh, I have to shake my rings off because it's going to drive me nuts. Um, she does that as she chips her tooth again. Anyway, it's kind of got a pinky sort of peachy tone to it, but it is insanely glowy, but not chunky, just glowy. But it's really pretty this is a mineral SPF which I prefer so as you can tell I just have a glow to my skin again no coverage 
but it did not pill or peel whatever underneath my makeup, which I like. So that is the or the um, sunscreen on. I really like it. I know I have like a face filter on this thing. I can't get it off without messing with the lighting. So my skin obviously, you you know, doesn't look like this. So <laughs> it doesn't look like the filter, but you can tell I have a slight glow to my face. So I still do like this. The Charlotte Tilbury, this isn't new, but I go in with this to create just a little glow as my base. This lasts me forever because I don't use that much, but I do think it makes a difference. I have a new Fresh Beauty Blender for today. And then we're gonna try out a new foundation. I actually bought two. Well, I bought that skin tint from Summer Friday as well. But I think we're gonna go in with the Giorgio Armani. So this is the Summer Friday sheer skin tint. I haven't tried this yet. I literally got it not that long ago because my second box shipped. Um, but I'll swatch it on my hand really quick. Let me. I know they have an um, SPF. I wish this did have an SPF, but it's not like a deal breaker. I just hope it's not like the old Kosas. Okay, the color looks good for me. I don't want to put it on because okay, it's really liquidy. I wonder if this is like water-based. I kept the box. What, AM or PM? What do you mean AM or PM? Girl, what are you talking about? Why does it say a.m. or p.m.? Like, I'm not using this at night. Who puts makeup on before to bed? Okay, that actually gives a decent coverage. I think, Christine, you were the one that recommended this to me. That looks really nice. I'm like, should I try it? No, I really want to try the Giorgio Lumin Luminous Silk, but I'll do another one of that. But, oh my god, I'm excited. Okay, though, before I do... <laughs> So we're not gonna use that today, but I'm gonna go in with the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk. Hopefully this is my color. I got it in 5.75. I've actually never used this foundation. I've used like samples, but I've never owned this in my correct color. So I'm excited to own this. But before I do that, I wanna try this new brow lamination thing. This is not, um, I didn't get this from Sephora. I think you can, they sent this over to me. It's the Grande Brow Laminate laminate system which you guys know i love the elf one but this one has peptides in it so it would be nice if you have issues with your brows um because you're getting kind of a treatment mixed in with a laminate so um let's comb these up but i find that if i do it before i um do my foundation my brows don't get all gunky if that makes sense so i've never used this it comes already bent like that which is nice but i feel like it's not bent enough it's very thin, like I easily dented that in. So again, I've never tried this, so let's see what I think about it. So these are gonna be first impressions, like I said, and then others, ooh, that's, I got a lot on that one. <laughs> others are gonna be full on reviews. Okay, so. I feel like this worked nice. I really like the laminate brow. Oh, I feel like this dries down and becomes like kind of tacky. So you can brush it up even more. <laughs> that one's looking a little crazy, but. I feel like it becomes like tacky and easier to deal with. Oh, I kind of like that. So I think this would be a good option if you struggle with like your lashes looking thin or brittle or whatever. Okay. And remember to always push your eyebrows down with laminate because then you're just like putting gel on it but you're not combing it through. So I think I like this. Oh, I like this. It's not chunky at all. I like how it gets tacky. I feel like the elf one does not get tacky. This also came with a set, like the pack that I got. I don't know if they sell it. I'll link it down below. I'm pretty sure I also have a coupon code. Again, this isn't sponsored. They just sent it to me. Um, but it came with like some brow scissors and some tweezers as well in the kit. So I don't like to go too crazy with my brows. I finagre around with them for a little bit. <laughs> um, 
I like that. Okay. My one eyebrow is like way higher than this. I feel like I should get some Botox to like lift this one up, but can't be bothered. So we're done with the base. Now let's move on, or we're done with that. Let's move on to the foundation, which I am honestly so excited for. I just pumped it on my hand and like swatched it on my neck to kind of see if it was similar because I wasn't going to come on here and be like, whoa. So how I typically put my foundations is I take a pump in my hands and then I kind of just dot it everywhere. Okay, it does look a little dark, but honestly, it's going to be summer, so I'm not overly concerned. So I always take and rub it in with my fingers first. Oh yeah, I think that's a good match. What do y'all think? First impression, it's nice. Um, it smooths on really like a little bit more silicone-y than my NARS Luminous Silk, or not Luminous Silk, um, Radiant Light, Light Reflecting, whatever it is. It's not as like glowy, I feel like, as my NARS one is. Everyone raves about this, it's nice. It's very natural and skin-like. I would say it has a satin finish. It's pretty. It's glowy, yeah. It's glowy, but like an all-over glow, not like a crazy glow. Okay, now I blend it in with a beauty blender. I would say the color is pretty good. I don't know, it's always hard to tell at first, but. I used to be someone who would like go really dark with my foundation. Now I feel like I'm go light with it and then I can warm it up with bronzer. Let's brush those brows back up. She fell down a little. God. I like it. Okay. Next thing to try would be this concealer by Say. I'm gonna go and try it. I've heard really terrible things about it and I swatched on my hand and I will say it just like did nothing. So we're gonna see what I think about it actually over makeup because I've never worn it over makeup. I mean, it definitely brightened. Holy crap, it brightened. Just put a little bit there. I'm in the color. I'll have all my colors linked down below because I can't read. Yeah, and this one's a weird, like, number system. Okay, I actually really like that. I actually really like that, dude. Whoa. Okay, I'm I'm a fan. I feel like it's definitely brightening, but it's not like white brightening. Like, I don't know, it's looking white on the camera, but in person, it's not. Holy caramoli, I am a fan. Okay, so I honestly though wouldn't love this all over my face, I feel like, because it is brightening, but we'll see. We're actually gonna try and see. I feel like it won't really cover my like pimples, you know? That is so brightening, <laughs> but in like the best way possible. Not in like a, I don't know, you're gonna probably, I'm probably gonna edit this back and be like, girl, what are you talking about? You look like crazy. Um, I get a little darkness here, so I like to put it here. I don't love this applicator, I'm just gonna be honest with you. I would never swipe my concealer, really. I always kind of pat it, especially where I want more coverage, because I feel like it can tend to lift my foundation so I always put it there I feel like it's really brightening and then I have like an acne spot here here and then I have like a little hyperpigmentation spot there that I like to cover up a couple more acne spots I feel like it's really freaking brightening so we're gonna see how I feel about that with like my face. I tend to like that to let that sit for a second so it can kind of 
get a little more tacky before I blend it in, but y'all, I kind of love this. I don't know. We're gonna see if it um, creases, but it's really brightening. I don't have like insanely dark circles under my eyes. Like they're dark. Cause I mean, I have a toddler after all, but. This concealer is a tiny bit light for me, but not like, like for my face. But I think it's okay. What do we think? I kind of love it under my eyes. I feel like it gives that like really lit inner corner look without like powder or like using a white-ish concealer. I'm kind of here for it. Okay, so far so good. Let's now go in with powder in a second. So I let to, like to let this like sit a little bit. I don't think I need to really go in with any other concealer. So let me look up a little bit closer. Y'all, oh, my trash can fell over. I really like this. Okay, so far so good. I had really low hopes for that concealer, honestly. Not like low hopes, but some of y'all just said it didn't really do much. Um, So, I don't know, I like it though. Okay, moving along. Powder, sorry. I This is the powder I always use, the Kosas Cloud Set and Feathery. So, I guess I'll fill you, up, fill you in a little bit on life. I feel like we've had a crazy last couple of weeks and we have a kind of crazy rest of the month. Not crazy, but I'm super excited for Mother's Day. We're going, we're doing like a little friends trip. I know it seems weird, but I wanted to do um, a trip for Mother's Day and I asked Nilani like what her and Steve and Marley were doing and she was like nothing. And I was like, you wanna make it a, a Mother's Day trip together and she's like yeah so we're going to Lake Geneva so we rented a little place out there which I'm really excited about so we're gonna go on a little I don't know just like a little fun getaway I'm really excited so it's only an hour away from us which is amazing so okay powders on um I feel like I lost a little bit of glow from that foundation obviously because because I said it with powder whatever um okay i think we're still making progress so yeah we're gonna go there i'm really excited about that so i have some like packing and stuff to do and then scott realized with the verbo that they don't allow pets so i had to find a babysitter for winnie but that's okay because my dog sitter was able to watch her so it's exciting okay the next product i'm gonna go in with now that i have my powder on is the makeup by mario this is the soft sculpt transforming skin perfector in light medium. I like this, I really do, but honestly, I don't find it much better than my like hourglass palette. Um, like I typically mix, sorry, these two together for bronzer and I feel like it's kind of really the same sort of look as this. So do I think this is necessary because I have that? No, but have I been using it? Yes. I use it with this giant brush. And it's definitely just like a super diffused look. But I don't think that this is 100% worth the money in my opinion, but it does add like a nice, I mean you can tell on my nose, glow to your skin. Okay, actually, I really like it. I keep using it, so clearly I like it, okay? Um, and then I do take just a little bit of a smaller brush it's quite pigmented, to be honest with you, and I just kind of just go down my nose a little bit. And just slightly contour. Light, and I say contour, lightly. I say the term lightly because I don't really do much. And then I also take it and kind of mix and swirl and put it through my crease. So it's a, it's just like a bronzer, but it has like a beautiful glow to it i don't think it's like phenomenal um i haven't really ever tried this is my first product actually for makeup by mario and i'm kind of like it's okay so let me know if there's anything else and don't recommend the contour stick because i'm really not a contour i just don't care that much i also like i hope this doesn't sound conceited i don't mind the shape of my face like so 
I feel like sometimes if we're like, we like the shape of our face, then we sound like we're like annoying. <laughs> but I do, I don't mind the shape of my face at all. I actually quite like the shape of my face. So I don't feel the need to like contour it to oblivion, which is why I don't end up really liking contour sticks. Okay, so I just run that through the crease. It's pretty, it's light. I will say this is not like shimmery and chunky. It's just glowy and pretty. And the foundation is now with the powder, now that it's warming, you can tell it just, it's glowy. Okay, so there's that. I'm trying to think of what else I got from this, y'all. Lip stuff. Okay. Oh, I forgot. <laughs> I normally do this before I powder as like my highlighter. So I put it right there. Right here. We can still put it on because powder is super light. And then I typically tap here and there. Maybe right there. Whoops. Daisy. I'm just all over the place today. So when people ask what I have for highlighter on, it's typically nine times out of ten this or a little bit of the hourglass powder. But you can just tell. And you can put this over powder. It's not the end of the world. Beautiful. Okay. I'm liking this so far. Next, 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 next. This is where I have to make a hard decision. And not really hard as well. Actually, let's go in with freckles first because I'm feeling feeling the freckles today. They're cute. Cute! Alright, so first things first, I got the hourglass. Um, I have something in my nose. The, hour, the Hourglass Blush, Ambient Lighting Blush in Diffuse Heat, which is so, so pretty. But I also got this guy. They sent this to me. You guys know this was on my Sephora list, but then it sold out. I think it's back in stock now, but Stockholm from um, Merit Beauty. I love their cream blushes. The only cream blushes that I actually like. I really dislike a lot of cream blushes. I actually just threw away my Rare Beauty one. I don't know. I don't like it. So this is honestly not as like bright pink as a baby pink as I thought it was gonna be but it's still so gorgeous so we're actually gonna go in with this and I know I put powder on but I feel like you can put these on over the top powder in my opinion so I just stamp and lightly drag I just feel like these don't stay creamy on the face they really blend in which is why I like them it's so pretty on I'm so happy they sent me this because I was really wanting it so bad and I was so bummed that it was sold out. Okay, so that's it. And then you can obviously, these just blend away so nicely. You don't even have to use your fingers, I'm serious. Like, they also have a brush as well. So, just on the apples. And then I am gonna set it, because I'm extra. You totally don't need to do this at all, but I love this blush. So, let's go in with I love the minis from Hourglass because honestly, I feel like you don't need that much. Like this will last me forever. So, it's so pretty. And it is a very like poppy sort of pink. I think that's how they explain it. And it's gorgeous. I just love Hourglass finish of their products, especially on like my skin that's like, I don't know, aging. <laughs> I just think it looks pretty. Oh, I love blush. Okay. And then last but not least, I always go in and do a little bit of finishing powder with these two from the Hourglass palette. And I just kind of put it in the low parts of my face. Mm, so pretty. Okay, that's face stuff. Now let's go into, this is nothing, nothing new. You guys know that. Um, I always just take my little Maybelline. little line um what else is going on oh and then scott's mom is coming to visit us the, the weekend after mother's day and then after that scott is going to dallas um because you guys know we kept our uh town home in dallas uh and so our tenant is we knew it was only a temporary thing he was our friend or he's scott's friend so my friend i don't really know him i met him like once but he lived there for just the year and then he bought a house because he was going through a divorce 
so we're renting that out so he's getting it ready for the next person so that's super exciting and we're just so like happy that we made the decision to keep that because we're at like an interest rate of like two so that's amazing okay next thing I actually want to try this on my like skin first my skin first you know what I mean um let's get this Kosas concealer and try it out so let's let this dry and then we will spray it and see so I got the I really wanted um like many people the um what do I want to say the words Kelly the one size by Patrick stars um setting powder the waterproof one that went like freaking viral uh but it was sold out so I decided to grab the Sephora one so let's see let's do a little test because they claim theirs is waterproof I think 16 hour wear transfer proof sweat and humidity resistant so I put a little patch of it on my hand a patch of like concealer and powder because I hate when people try eyeshadow because girl eyeshadow is not my problem I don't have a problem with eyeshadow transferring to people I have or like here I have like makeup does anyone did anyone try the make the trick where you like spray hairspray here so it doesn't get on it I should try that okay so it's dry let's let it dry I have low hopes I'm not gonna lie to you all right, well that's drying. Let's go in with, I actually feel like I don't need to fill in my brows. I'm fine with them. So let's go in with mascara. I'm kind of, okay, I saw this girl on TikTok the other day talk about the CoverGirl Lash Blast and I like literally feel like I need to buy it again. It's been so long, but I'm kind of over as I'm like, I've always loved long lashes. And I've always loved um, Lash Serum, and I just talked about a Lash Serum, but I think I'm over long lashes. Is that weird? Is anyone really over long lashes? I don't mean I'm over long lashes. I'm over like the thick, dramatic lashes that I used to be. I think I want just something really simple like that. Just little. Not like where you look at my face and you're like lashes, you know? So I think I wanna try the CoverGirl again. And see what I think. Pretty! I don't know, I'm kind of in just like the length and separation instead of the big dramatic like full lashes. A little bit on the bottom is all I've been doing. Okay, let's see. I'm not gonna lie, it kind of feels tight. What? The whole thing dang transferred off. <laughs> mm. I don't know about all that. Okay, we're gonna, mm -mm. no. She's a no-go, I'm gonna go back to, not that this is super transfer proof, but at least I like the finish of this benefit. It's just my favorite finish ever. So I'd rather go with the finish that I like if it's not gonna stay longer. And then this is almost out and I'm kinda sad and I kinda want another one. No. It's so pretty. All right, oh, lips. Let's go in. I've got two lippy options. Now that my lips have sat in the summer Friday, I'm just going to kind of wipe a little bit off. So I think I tried this in the video, which I really liked, the Tower Gloss in Pistachio. But Mara also sent me their new lip oils, which I need to check and see if they're out. Yes, they're out. They're their lip jellies. They're lip oil, but in the jellies one. And I got the color Le Duke. Le Duke. I don't know, it looks really pretty. I like these, they're much thinner than the CoverGirl ones, which I also love. But I feel like these give a little bit more payoff, but I have to really go in. So if you like the thin consistency of their original lip oils, then you'll really like these. These are just more of like a sheer jelly, very much like the Dior lip oil, but clean and nice so anyways i love how this look turned out i think it's so cute it's so glowy so yes um let's do a wrap up first impression i really like this hopefully it wears well hopefully it wears well um i love this 
I'm just gonna say I love it as long as it doesn't crease. This is a good lip gloss. It's not like 100% necessary, but I like it. These two lip balms love uh, for different reasons. I think I like this a little bit better, but they're both great. Yes, you need this. This is hit or miss. If you have the hourglass, you don't need it. But if you don't, this is a really nice like bronzer warm complexion. This I'm so excited to try. This hourglass blush, obsessed. This I'm gonna I'm gonna return. Also, the day shampoo and conditioner, unfortunately, returning that as well. It was just too not great, not enough for me. Um, I really like this, but I mean, obviously the e.l.f. does similar results up front, but I'm sure this has long-term benefits. So, yes, gorgeous, love it. Lip oil, she's a win. So okay. that is it. That's gonna wrap up my little girl talk, get ready with me. My little update on my Sephora recent sale haul situation. Again, the day is getting me returned. This is definitely getting returned. I think that's it. I like everything else, you guys. So I hope you enjoy it. I hope you find these videos fun and helpful. Just sit down and chat with me. I love you guys as always, and I'll see you in my next video.